one of your strategic plan goals was to look at potential incentives and some of those could be related to offsetting impact fees and that is an appropriate role for the town for say a primary employer or some other high revenue generator that we don't want to reflect what the state law and this is very important what the state law also very clearly says is that if the town were to um, provide a you know a waiver for impact fees that we are required to make up that difference from another fund source. So, um, so we can't just wave it and say, that's it. We would have to find other general fund monies or construction sales tax dollars that would replace it or you know, whatever that would be. And that could be a policy decision that, could ha we, that, that this council could have and we would be happy to advise you on those opportunities on a case-by-case -case basis. This has been an ongoing process to do some massaging to adjust the costs and in the infrastructure improvement plan to say, well, maybe we don't need that so that we can try to make these fees as manageable as we possibly can. But also we, we do wanna honor what, um, what our community said and what was in our general, general plan, which is that new growth you know, pays mm -hmm. its fair share. That's where I think that the, you know, the uh, draft incentive policy that we're currently reviewing um, is an opportunity for us where, where we hear from a prospective, um, you know, business that's coming in, wow, yeah, this is a little bit high, that maybe we can, we, that gives us that opportunity to work with them and provide that benefit on that case by case based on benefit to, um, to the town in the future. We've been building buildings over years, maybe we've given incentives before, so someone was obviously coming into the area. Um, so I just want to ask you, since you're a professional, you've dealt with a lot of communities, maybe you can kind of tell us, based on what you've done in the years past, like where are we in the growth structure or the maturity phase, and if you can compare that to other communities that have gone through growth of, growth of their communities and kind of what they've done with incentives and are we on the right track? Or the only thing I can tell you is that I mean, there is a reason, I don't pay attention to the fees, because there is a reason people want to live in, in Oro Valley. There is a reason businesses want to locate in Oro Valley. And in my opinion, impact fees are not going to drive businesses away or residents away. There's a reason people want to live here. 